Hello, my beautiful Aries. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. So pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Alrighty. For my Aries, please. way too many cards let's try that again for my aries please there we go okay so we actually have two cards i'll take them one at a time uh the first card we have is the big picture or angelic help okay so many of you could be trying to look at the future of this outcome here or you're focused on you know the bigger picture so what does that mean maybe letting go of small frustrations small mishaps at this time maybe you feel like it's not your um not in your best interest to focus on things that weigh you down um again with angelic help for some of you it could be an energy of surrendering maybe you feel like there's a lot you don't know so you're kind of just in that energy of going with the flow of things okay um the sacred union part partnership and romance so this is what's going on in the mutual energy between the person you're inquiring about as well as yourself um and I feel like, again, this is someone who feels like you're very special. They could hold you very close to their heart. But for others of you, it's about coming together, right? The first card there is the number 12, which reduces to three. And uh, the second card talks about a union, right? So it's almost like your person wants to see eye to eye or agree on something, um, you know, and, and put more emphasis on the similarities that you guys share instead of the differences, because this is someone who genuinely wants to come together here. Okay, um, I could see that off the bat here, this is a very potent bond. You guys could feel very drawn to each other, or you could feel some sort of um, magnetic pull. Like even if you guys are maybe, um, you know, it goes, uh, you guys go a couple of days without speaking to each other, it's almost like this urge to want to come together or just feeling very connected to each other is the best way for me to explain this. This is definitely someone that you could have been in a commitment with in the past, or I'm just picking up on the energy of this person wanting to, you know, communicate to you and wanting to connect with you. Like it's someone who thinks about you a lot, Aries is what I'm getting. Um, I also feel like this could be someone who does a tad bit of spying, um, you know, maybe checks up on your social media here, but you, you bring a lot of comfort to this person and it's definitely someone who's looking for some sort of um, commitment here, okay? Let's see. fruition abundance reaping what you sow wow so this guy is guarded here very interesting guys i feel like first and foremost aries let's talk about your energy i feel like you're at a very fulfilled space or you're on your way to a very fulfilled space like enjoying the fruits of your labor um you know for some of you this could be unexpected income or unexpected results because of the work that you have been putting in okay i see that some of you have been working extremely hard and you're kind of like okay where are the results or maybe you feel like you're overworking i just see a much happier time and if you look at her hair it almost reminds me of the ram which is, you know, uh, symbolic for your sign here. So I feel a lot of success on your end. Um, you guys are definitely in your element. I do see that Aries and uh, anything you're manifest, uh, manifesting at this time, or you've manifested in the past is coming into fruition for you very quickly. I'm almost getting that magician, uh, card energy where you're able to, um, manifest you know at this time um in a very efficient way so be very careful with the thoughts that um you know you you're, or the things that you're thinking about and things that you're telling yourself okay um very fruitful time for you now back to the spread here i feel like again this is your person viewing you in a very fortunate energy you being in your element here but it's also someone who wants to share this journey with you. Like this could be someone who has a lot of good news or maybe they recently, you know, generic example, got a promotion or there's something here that makes them very happy and they want to tell you about it. It's like you could be that person where when something good happens to this person, like you celebrate it with them and they feel so whole. They feel like... Um, just the best way for me to explain it is they feel amazing when you're with them or they feel amazing with you know your words of um uh you know your words of uh, love or your words of you know um 
motivation like they just feel that very loved and appreciated around you and i feel like again this is probably the reason why they want to be in a partnership with you um a lot of passion here i would like to say that and i do feel like this person misses your physical touch like maybe um like they want to hug right now or they want to you know like they miss holding your hands like they miss the little things like this is someone who appreciates every single thing about you and it's even like a tad bit of a sentimental energy so there could be maybe there's like something you've gifted this person or something you said that they keep thinking about because it's like like something you said or something you did gives this person butterflies and they keep rethinking it like they relive it because it feels that great if that makes sense and you're obviously going to know what that is pertaining to your situation because it is a general read Alrighty. let's see as we split the deck here six of cups judgment okay so what i see is your person trying to do something differently okay so what they did in the past they feel like did not work and they're trying to do something differently they also feel like their actions of the past have led to some sort of karma or maybe something just not working out in their favor six of cups very nostalgic um energy here right missing you wanting to return to you if you have history with this person um and if this is someone who's fairly new it could just be that you remind them of like a very innocent nature or you're helping them he heal their inner child right it's like a very innocent youthful uh generous energy associated with this card so i feel like there's like this person wants to celebrate with you or like you know do fun things with you they feel like you're very open um open-minded i would like to say and you're also very spontaneous like this is someone who just enjoys being in your company aries okay let's see and i feel like for some of you this person just misses you like even if you're speaking to this person like again like i was saying they miss the small things like maybe you guys are not able to be together right now maybe you know you can't physically be there for this person but there is this energy of constantly longing for you Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Something about you is very nurturing to this person, Aries. Like, that's the word that I keep getting. And even if you, um, and your first card is a Queen of Pentacles, which pretty much means like a very nurturing energy, someone who is like an ideal partner. They view you to be also very resourceful, quick on your feet, that sort of thing. But this is someone who wants to be with you and be with you for the long haul is what I'm sensing, guys. Okay. Um, for many of you, this is someone who either wants to, like, it could quite literally be physical where they need to move closer to you, so it could be travel, or I'm picking up on, like, an emotional gap or emotional distance here where this person just wants to feel closer to you. Like, if you're in a stage of getting to know this person or relearning them, if you have, um, you know, history with them, they're, like, ready to just be that much closer with you or take things to the next level. Like, someone here is very ready to invest in this situation. exactly what i said guys a lot of thinking right maybe even obsessive thinking um with the devil there but it seems that this person feels very attached to you right very bonded to this uh, uh you know um relationship here but more than anything it could even be that this person is maybe not using the best coping mechanisms or they feel that there's some sort of thinking pattern that they're trying to let go of like even if it's not negative guys it could just be unhealthy where it's like okay this person feels like they think about you more than they you know put forth practical action or they think about you and they feel like it leads to fantasizing or they feel like they think about you so much and then they end up you know planting false hope in their mind but this is someone who thinks about you like day and night pretty much everything around them reminds them of you and i mean what can i say right they can't get enough of you is essentially what i'm picking up on uh some of you may be involved with a capricorn or another earth sign um such as a virgo or a taurus And it's almost like some for some of you this person feels like you keep them guessing or they don't really know enough about you it's almost like as as much as they feel like sometimes they know enough about you then it's like okay 
boom, there's something else that, you know, they find out. Like you're someone with a lot of layers to you is what I'm picking up on. They also feel like you're someone who knows more than you show. You know, with that high priestess energy, it is someone who's very aware. It's someone who's highly intuitive, uh, possibly even emotionally intelligent, but they're not really verbalizing these things. But it's just like someone, when you look at them, you look in their eyes, you know they're very certain. You know that they're very, um, you know, sure of what's going on. And that's how this person views you. Some of you may be involved with a Piscean or a Cancerian, but what I'm picking up on here, Aries, essentially, is like this person, if it's not silent treatment, this person holds back from telling you a lot. It's like, okay, there could be something in particular this person wants to express to you, but they're wondering like what you would think. Like you may have like a really good way of like, okay, I'll give you a generic example. Like if this person was like, like Aries, you're the most beautiful person I've met. Like, even if it made you feel really great, Aries, I feel like you'd be like, oh, thank you. That means so much to me. But like, you're very hard to read. Like you don't, like you're something to do with your reactions. They're very, not only are they very stable, but they're, it's, it's very like, you could be a very humbled individual. Like, you know, yes, you're very confident. You know, you may know that you're so beautiful, but the thing is like the way you respond to this person, it kind of throws them off. Like they're always left wondering, like what is Aries thinking? Or like, if I say this, like would Aries think I'm overdoing it? Would Aries think I'm moving too fast? Like, you know, because with the high priestess energy, again, they feel like you know more than you show. Um, so that's the best way for me to explain that. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could be working out, maybe, you know, changing your diet here or, you know, uh, making some sort of changes where you're like very attractive at this time is what I'm picking up on. <clears throat> so whatever you're doing, you guys should keep doing it. This is someone where they will like say something or do something and then wait for like a hint from you. And then they'll say something else and then wait for a hint from you. It's always, it's almost like this person is waiting for, I don't want to say waiting for you to take the lead, but they also like try to see how you're feeling. Like there's someone who doesn't want to rush things and it's because they think about this a lot. They have a lot of deep emotion here, but they also feel like there's a lot in the unknown. And it doesn't have to be negative. What could be in the unknown, if this is fairly new, could be the fact that there's a lack of expression. Or even if it's someone you have history with, if you're just speaking on a surface level, this person may feel like them pouring out their heart right now is, you know, maybe doing a little bit too much, right? So I feel like with the two of wands, again, waiting for some sort of hint from you or, you know, waiting for um, just taking things slow, okay? But I do see that this is definitely someone who is driven by passion. They do feel like there's a future here. They do feel like there's growth here. And that's why they're looking forward. Alrighty. What are they obsessively thinking about? Let's see. The bottom of the deck was a six of swords, so it could be moving closer to you, but let's clarify that to be sure. The devil. Where are they obsessing about right now let's see and guys when i say it like they're obsessively thinking i don't mean it in like a dramatic negative way i just feel like it's someone who thinks about you a lot because i know that that could be a sticky term to use and i and i totally understand that obsession is very different from love right love is pure love is free but i just feel like they're obsessed with the thought of being with you or they want some sort of outcome here like it's someone who just can't get you off their mind some of you may be involved with the Sagittarius. I just uh, viewed the Temperance card. Ace of Wands. Yeah, a lot of passion, right? As I was saying, um, a brand new start is what this person wants. What they're thinking about is if they're communicating with you right now, they're thinking about when is the right time to kind of just let you know their, their true feelings, you know? I don't feel like there's someone who's going to be like, oh yeah, I think about you every single day, right? Because it seems that they're trying to combat, um, you know, how much they think about you or they're trying to like work on that. Like they know they think about you a lot. But what I do think they will tell you is that um, they want to be with you, okay? The Ace of Wands, a new beginning, a passionate new beginning at that. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, they can also express to you, again, no gender guys, but they can express to you that you're very nurturing. You make them feel very comfortable and um, you give them a feeling that no one has ever given before and given them before. And another thing is also with the High Priestess, they could also be kind of asking you to open up or they could be asking you particular questions pertaining to emotions that you have yet to speak on. 
Like even if you have emotions for this person, I don't feel like you laid out every single thing on the table, Aries. I feel like maybe you're still in the energy of testing the waters or, you know, you're kind of in that energy of seeing a little bit, waiting a little bit, you know, that sort of thing. High Priestess. of swords so here's what i see because there is a lot in the unknown there could still be a decision to make whether this is on your end or your person's and i'm going to clarify it for you guys give me a second here but with the two of swords i feel like there is a lot of thinking okay about what is the right thing to say what is the right path to take here right but the main blockage or you know, I wouldn't really consider it a blockage, but if you're if you're kind of looking at what's kind of a tad bit in the way, it seems that there's one party here who feels like they are more invested or they have deeper emotions for the opposing party. Does that make sense? So if this is your person, they could feel that they like you more than you like them. And of course, guys, that could just be an assumption. I'm just reading the energy. So let's go ahead and clarify what this confusion is about. Two of swords for my Aries, please. Very interesting. So we have double two. So this person could be, again, making a choice here. It could be that they're going to um, ask you to make a choice. Um, if it's not them asking you, I feel like this is someone who is figuring out the right thing to say. I don't see this as a negative. Um, again, this could be someone who feels like they're taking a long time right now because they're deciding between left or right or, you know, that sort of thing. But it is someone who is wanting to take the action to um, be accountable or, or show up as someone who's accountable. Like I just see someone who's just doing a lot of thinking, okay? But the practical energy will come um, afterwards, so after they make a decision here. So let's see. What are their next steps here? Two of swords, two of pentacles, because that's like more of a deciding energy. It's more of like, okay, and it's not to say, and it's not that they're deciding if they like you or not. We've, we've discovered that they, they like you, right guys? But the thing is, this is someone who's almost like fearing an outcome where they feel like, again, they can't read you. Um, and that could just be because you're keeping your emotions intact also, Aries, but let's see. Two of swords, two of pentacles. What are their next steps? This is someone who will communicate with you, but they will still be holding back a bit. So it's almost like both of you are doing the same thing, a bit of a mirroring energy here, or you will find that this person is communicating with you about a new start, but they will be moving a bit slower. There's someone who doesn't, doesn't want to come off too strong or who doesn't want to love bomb you is what I see. Okay, now I will see the advice behind this, uh, these cards here is that if there is a party who's a little bit more defensive or on, uh, you know, on edge or on, on the fence about things that could impact the conversation or where the conversation goes, right? So it seems that there's this desire for like an authentic conversation where both parties are just as open. But if there's one person who is, um, a little bit closed off, I can see how it would cause the other person to kind of match that energy, if that makes sense. So my wonderful Aries, I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.